Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Ben Olson, that's Nathan Fox. We're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We have an email here from Anonymous. Greetings, Ben and Nathan. You may not remember me, but I was one of your students way back in 2016 before LSAT Demon was a thing. My goal back then was to separate from the military and enter law school full time. Took the LSAT in February without much in depth studying and got in the mid 150s. Parentheses, I am not a good test taker. I'm going to stop you right there, Anonymous. Uh, you need to stop saying that. You can't, you can't keep saying, I am not a good test taker. It, every time you say that, it just reinforces it. And you're, you know, like you're programming yourself to be a bad test taker every time you say that. So figure out a way to replace that with some better self-talk. Ben, any suggestions? At the very, if you can't just immediately excise it, at least start thinking about how you can become a good test taker. Because I am anything, studying currently to become a better test taker. Yeah. I mean, the human brain is fascinating in its ability to adapt to a wide variety of shit we decide to throw at it. I mean, yeah. think of how many adapt adaptations people have made around the planet for all sorts of different kinds of environments. The environment you're about to place your brain in is a test. And you're gonna say, hey, this is something we want to get good at, and it's something you can get good at. Your brain is amazingly um, adaptable. Yeah. Anonymous continues, since I had already sent in my applications, I decided to keep the score and see what happened. Again, that was a mid 150s LSAT. I knew Georgetown was a long shot, so I thought my LSAT score was the nail in the coffin for that school. When I got the interview invite from Georgetown, I thought it was a mistake. So you could imagine how I felt when I received the coveted acceptance email from Dean Kornblatt. I'm here to tell anyone numbers are not everything. While I will say that my LSAT score was not great, I think my personal statement slash story, as well as my over 13 years of service as a commissioned officer, certainly colored my application and added to the whole person concept. Thanks for encouraging me back in 2016 to not give up on the LSAT nor the law school journey. It finally is paying off. Okay, Anonymous, are you at Georgetown right now and paying full price? Sounds like it. What is that? Yeah, I'm going to look it up. I, I mean, <laughs> both both Ben and I are cringing here. Um, Georgetown, which is currently in the top 14, but not always in the top 14. Uh, it has been recently replaced by UCLA uh, every once in a while. Maybe schools are going to start talking about the top 15 instead. Uh, but 72,000. Holy fuck. Wow. I was expecting you to say a high number. I was not expecting you to say a number that high. My God. <sighs> you snuck in uh, the back door to a law school with, you know, pretensions of being a national law school. Although, do you think Georgetown is really more prestigious in California than UCLA? Definitely not. USC? I think also probably not. Like, I don't, I don't know. It, it's uh, obviously the best law school in DC, which really means something. Yeah. But it's not the best law school on the East Coast. No. And you're paying full, full price. Uh, let's look at the scholarships. <sighs> Georgetown is a school that offers grants to 62% of its students, uh, including 29% are getting something more than half tuition paid for. I'm guessing that uh, Anonymous is one of the 38% who are there paying full price. I'd be really surprised with that LSAT if you got any grants whatsoever. So I think you're paying full price. You are competing with people who have vastly higher LSAT scores than you do. I mean, you're 15 points below the median. So you got in as a real, real outlier. I mean, maybe the GI Bill is I really pay. hope so, although earlier redacted stuff says that Anonymous had previously gone to a fully funded grad school slot in a PhD 
path, but then washed out of that. So decided to go back to law school and lives in the DMV. So um, Georgetown makes sense. But I mean, you, you did you apply to George Mason? Did you apply to um, what else? George ben? Washington. There's American. There's um, George Washington's in St. Louis, right? But I mean, no, it, George Washington's in D.C. That's where I went. GW. Oh, wait. G, what am I thinking about? You're thinking Wash U. Oh, Wash U in St. Louis. I'm sorry. Yeah. So George Washington, George Mason. What other schools are there in D.C.? There's there's I there's American, there's Catholic. Um, these are lower ranked schools, but um, GMU is 34th. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great school and it's just outside of D.C., uh, there's UVA probably wouldn't have gotten there, but um, some of these schools, you know, would have been cheaper even if they were full price too. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I'm sure that anonymous w was like wanting to, you know, celebrate with us. And unfortunately I don't, I don't feel great about this. I, I feel like this might be the worst thing that ever happened to you because if you know, you're the one who is saying I'm not a good test taker. Well, what do you think law school is? You're going to be taking tests competitively against people who outscored you by a dozen points on the LSAT or, or 20 points on the LSAT. And you're going to have to fight it out with them for grades to then try to get jobs. And meanwhile, you know, they are on a full ride or you know, 75% scholarship or whatever, and you're paying full price. And, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously your military service helped you and, you know, you were a commissioned officer and you've probably got other cool stuff on your resume and you're a good applicant, but how well are you going to do in the academic competition at Georgetown? I'm betting against you. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know you, but I'd have to bet against you based on your LSAT score. Well, you also have to recognize what Dean Kornblatt is thinking when he accepts you. He's thinking, oh, this is an applicant who's going to help fund our other students. Yep. Also, this is an applicant with a feel-good story who I'm going to get to talk about, you know, like I'm going to put you on my website, potentially, my glossy brochures. I'm going to never stop talking about how it's not all about the numbers, uh, <laughs> you know, because there yeah. are these outliers. Um, but the truth is almost everyone else there at the school has a vastly better LSAT and a vastly better GPA than you do. It is always about the numbers, except for these like very narrow sets of exceptions. And, uh, <laughs> you know, D Dean Kornblatt knows that not everybody who goes to uh, Georgetown ends up with a uh, very, you know, thriving legal career. Yeah. And your numbers, uh, Anonymous, unfortunately, put you in the segment of the class that is more likely to have an unsuccessful legal career. Yeah. Like, you know, if you don't get good grades on your law school exams, I mean, it's going to be for your 1L year, it's going to be almost 100% exam based. Yep. And if you don't score well on your exams, then you're not going to get the prestigious on-campus interviews. Like you're going to be getting the short end of the stick as far as what opportunities Georgetown has to offer. Meanwhile, with a better LSAT and or going to a different school, you could have been better set up to compete academically and you also could have saved yourself $72,000 a year. I mean, I'm hoping it's not too late. I think if I was anonymous, I would decline this offer, get a better LSAT. I just don't think people should be going to LSAT, to go into law school with a 154 or whatever it is. Just save the money. I just think you can do better. Like I know you feel really lucky to have snuck in the back door and uh, I do think it's lucky, but I think it could be bad luck. Yep. Tell us if we're wrong. Email daily at lsatdemon.com. You can always ask us questions or share LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening. Yeah.